Hey friends, welcome back. Today is all about student loans. My name is Dan Keller, branch manager and mortgage advisor at New American Funding. And we're seeing in 2022 right now, a lot of clients asking questions about student loans, um, qualifying for a mortgage because mortgage rates are higher now. It's tougher to qualify for a home loan. A lot of emphasis right now is on monthly payment and debt to income ratio. And when student loans come into play, student loans are now playing more of a role in our clients qualifying, not just from a budgeting standpoint, but from a lending debt to income ratio standpoint. So what I want to do today is I want to spend one or two minutes just giving you an overview of what you need to know, what you need to know if you have student loan debt. And then I've got a resource for you that is so valuable. This is a resource that we use here at New American Funding uh, to help our clients not only qualify when they have student loan debt, but here's the thing, a way for them to get federal student loan debt removed or forgiven. This is an awesome resource. I can't wait to share this with you. But let's talk real quickly. There are basically three to four different loan programs out there that our clients are qualifying for right now. And I'm going to spend the majority of today's call talking about Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. All right. These are conventional loan programs where you're putting down a minimum of three to 5% upwards to 20 or 30%. All right. So if you have student loan debt, these are some of the things that you need to understand around student loan debt and how lenders look at your debt to qualify. With Fannie Mae, what they do is they're going to look at the amount that you owe, the balance you owe, they're going to multiply that by 1%. And that's how they're going to hit you with your debt to income ratio. All right. Freddie Mac is a little bit more forgiving. They only hit you with 0.5%. So I want you to reach out to me and I can help calculate what your debt to income, basically your debt payment on your student loan debt would be um, qualifying for those two programs. FHA, works just like Fre uh, Freddie Mac. It's a little bit more lenient. So 0.5% factor versus the 1%. And then the other part is VA. VA takes a little bit more lenient approach. So let me give you an example here. If you had $100,000 in student loan debt, for example, and you qualified for a Fannie Mae loan, your debt that we would use to qualify you would be $1,000 a month. So we'd hit you with $1,000 a month for your repayment based off of a Fannie Mae loan. If it were Freddie Mac, we would only hit you with a $500 debt payment toward your debt to income ratio for qualifying for FHA, same thing, 500. But if it were a VA loan, it'd only be $416 a month, okay? So if you have any questions around those types of programs, I want you to reach out to me. This is what's crucial. And I wanna explain this to you because I think this will help you uh, if you do have student loan debt, will help you save some money. So this is a website called myloansense.com. And you can go here. Now the service, the what if scenario is free, but the service costs you a little bit of money. And what they do here is they'll tell you where you can save money on your student loans, maybe getting some forgiven, but more so it'll give you an indication of what to do next relative to qualifying for a, for, for a mortgage. So let's just say that you make $125,000 a year and your current student loan debt is 100,000. Um, let's say you have a credit card payments of $50 a month, a car payment of $350 a month, no other loan debt. And let's say on your student loan debt, you have a 6% um, interest rate. And it's just, let's just say it's you uh, for now. It's just you. Look at over here. This is showing you that we can, they can help you lower your student loan payments by $554 a month. And it can increase, by doing that, it can increase your buying power in the marketplace by $78,000, almost $80,000 more uh, you qualify for by reducing that loan debt. So this is a huge resource. It's myloansense.com. I want you to reach out to me for more information, not only on this, but more information relative to your current student loan debt situation. Big issue right now in America, student loan debt. We've got a president who's trying to do something about it right now, but we haven't seen a lot of action there. So in the meantime, this resource, this website is a huge, huge asset. Take a look at that. Reach out to me if you have any questions, especially mortgage related. I'd love to be your mortgage guy. And uh, I look forward to talking with you down the road. Okay, bye for now.